Yes. The Princess Royal was fined $3,000 after admitting her dog, Dottie, attacked two children. It was alleged that Princess Anne's dog bit two children aged 7 and 12 as they took a walk in Windsor Great Park near the Queen's residence. The Princess and her husband were summonsed under the Dangerous Dogs Act, but the charges against Commodore Tim Lawrence were dropped before the hearing. In court, Princess Anne only spoke to confirm her name and plead guilty to a charge of having an uncontrollable dog. The fine and costs amount to $3,000. The English Bull Terrier has been given a reprieve after the Princess's lawyers argued that a reenactment at Windsor Castle showed the dog was excitable and not aggressive. The family of the injured boys later criticised the sentence given to the Princess Royal. In a statement they said, we do not think justice has been done, the dog is still free and is a danger to society. The court listed the case as the Queen versus Anne Elizabeth Alice Lawrence. Constitutional experts say she was the first senior royal to be convicted of a crime since Charles I was beheaded for treason in 1649. In London, Darren Linton, Seven News. Accused of a crime, she was obliged to face court just like anyone else. She had the moral support of her family as the fate of one of her beloved bull terriers, Dottie, hung in the balance. Once in the dock, the Princess Royal spoke only to confirm her name, age and address and to say guilty when asked how did she plea. Last April, the Princess and her husband were walking their dogs in Windsor Great Park when Dottie made a dash for a group of children on bicycles. Two boys aged 12 and 7 were attacked. They suffered bites to their arms and legs. Pleading for the dog to be spared, the princess's lawyer insisted Dottie's behaviour was uncharacteristic. The judge agreed but warned a repeat performance will see it put down. The princess left the court with a criminal record, a fine of $1,400 and an order to keep her pet on a leash. The conviction should put to rest the common belief that the monarchy is above the law, but relatives of the two boys are not convinced. They still believe the princess and her pooch got off lightly. Damien Ryan, National 9 News.